What they think they've found is some kind of life form, a little bit like some amoebas maybe uh, joining together in a kind of slug-like creature which has been moving around 2.1 billion years ago. It's extraordinary if it all kind of checks out, and there is a little bit of scepticism over this, but the scientists believe that they've done their work correctly and that there were life forms moving around on our planet that long ago. Now, that, this, this kind of pushes back a lot of the dates that we have about um, the emergence of life and, and kind of more complex forms of life on planet Earth quite considerably because this, this same team actually found the first signs of life 2.1 million years ago but, but static life um, uh, about probably about a decade ago and now they believe they found life that moved around. Before that we were thinking 570 million years ago so they've pushed back the date by 1.5 billion years extraordinary and it's just some kind of simple life form moving moving around trying to get to the best nutrients in this sort of muddy terrain somewhere in Africa. OK, we'll bring our discussion to the present day then. Um, so in the UK, companies developed a new aircraft which could kind of change the way we see the Earth. And I think you'd quite fancy being in that cockpit. I would, lo I would love this. I'd love to have a go in it. This is unmanned. It's the Astigan uh, um, uh, solar powered aircraft. It flies at 20,000 metres, so that's kind of double the height of your average airliner. And the idea is, in fact, that it could be used for uh, mapping. That's what they want to do. So they're going to be starting out um, uh, flights at the end of this year, flying for up to 90 days before landing. It could actually fly four and a half times around the planet before it needed to come down and, and change its batteries over. Solar powered, and the idea is that um, countries which are developing fast, urban areas, um, and developing world countries as well, can use it in order to update their maps in order to look at deforestation, to, in order to look at climate change, but also to look at how urban areas are changing as well. We know how quickly they change. And people need to have accurate maps, especially if, if they're going to have future-looking technologies like driverless cars, etc. You need to have very good mapping, and they believe that the Astigan solar-powered aircraft can do this. Well, to space now and the Ultima Thule. Now, it's gone through various shapes, but now it seems to be more of a kind of unusual pancake. Yeah, so this is a Kuiper Belt object um, which was visited by NASA um, actually on New Year's Day this year. Um, it was the New Horizons spacecraft that flew past it. It's 6.6 .6 billion kilometres away from Earth. And when we were coming towards it, it looked like a bowling pin. Then it looked a bit like a snowman, kind of like two snowballs stuck together. And now the latest images show that, well, one side of it is like a ball and the other side is kind of flattish, a kind of a fat pancake. It is really extraordinary when you look at the pictures and uh, no other object like this has ever been found in the solar system. They actually can see it. I mean, the data is coming down from New Horizons now. They can see it because they, they look at where the stars are hidden uh, by the object looking back. And uh, yeah, they see that this, this kind of flattened structure. Now, they believe it's two objects that have come together sometime in the early solar system, but exactly Exactly how you would end up with something flat. No other object like that has been found in the solar system. It's a mystery, but as I say, data's coming down and hopefully they'll be able to, to solve it.